Hello, hello, hello. Today I will show you all of my tiniest baby tarantulas. I mean slings. As you see here in front of me, there is a lot of tiny, tiny enclosures. But of course, these aren't all of my slings. I still have these enclosures. And in this video, we will feature only the smallest one. So these won't be included. And also in those enclosures up there, a lot of them are unsexed. So technically, they are still considered slings. So what is what is the actual line between juvenile and sling? I think it's not really defined. Mostly when you have an unsexed tarantula, you would call it sling. Then once it is big enough to be sexed, then you call it juvenile, female or male. But in the same time, if you have a microscope, you can take a really small tarantula, you can take it small and still figure out its sex. So what's the actual line? I don't know. And I believe there isn't any real definition. This is sling, this is no longer a sling. And it also greatly depends on the species. I will mostly try to show you all the tarantula species, all the slings that I have here. But I also have a bunch of cockroaches here and we will also feed them. Not all of them, but some. We will see. And before we begin, some letter. This one is from Kari and it features some lovely artwork. As you can see, Petko with some spider. Awesome stuff. Thank you, Kari. And the other one, this one actually came from all the way from South Africa. And I know from who it is. It is from Vic from Durban in South Africa. And we spoke briefly through the email before he actually sent me this letter. And that was like two months ago, maybe. Is there a date? Yeah, it's from January. So he sent this in January and I received it now. So super slow postal service. And even though it's not mentioned in this actual letter, he recently started his Tarantula YouTube channel. So I will write it down and link it down below. So check it out, show him some support and love and thank you Vic for the letter. Now let's get to the business. I will need to open the Tarantula species list that I have because I don't know the names of all of them. Shall we go from left or right? Let's go from here. This first three, you can only see. No, you, you can no longer see. Only cute butt. These one are Hilobrahis fimbriatus. And I didn't have to check that. And these were gift from Yerko. Whoa, it almost attacked my finger <laughs> while I was removing the web. So let's try to feed them. They are good eaters, so it shouldn't be a problem. Nice! Ooh, it just pulled away from my tongues. And the last one... Maybe a bit too close together. No, go back. Okay. <laughs> he went back on its own. Got him. So from what you could see, just generic brown spider sling look, nothing special. And I believe majority is like that, but we have some exceptions. So three Hilobrahis fibriatus. Now we are moving to something even more fun. Oh, it is outside. Excellent. It is the Cyriacosmus. Perez Milesi. And if you remember, these were gifts from Jessica and author, and it is moving. So let's try to tongue feed it. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I kind of made a mistake, but they're also good eaters. Look at that booty action. Really sweet. And in total, I have six of these. Two, three, four, five. And six. Ooh, and look, this one is apparently freshly molted. It looks really shiny, so probably it is. So we won't be feeding this one, but we will the others. Oh, this was quick reaction by this one. That one was a bit slower and still didn't get it. Oops. This one was a bit out of frame, but you can see it. It got it down there. I don't know if you are noticing, but they are the same gender as the elegance, the one with a heart on its booty. And I don't know if you can see, but they also have that 
kind of heart shape on their abdomen. But it doesn't really look that much like heart as on Cirio Cosmos Elegans. And of course they are also dwarf tarantulas. So you see what is awesome when you have dwarf tarantulas, where are you going? <laughs> Even though they are tiny, they are already showing their adult coloration. Really awesome. Isn't that right? So I still need to fit this one in the middle. Quick, quick. And it's gone. So, six of Cirrocosmos Perez Milesi. This one, if you remember, when I showed you the additions from Lestera Plaza, I showed you this link and I said that I don't really know what it is. It was a gift from a subscriber and Patreon from Budapest, although he wishes to remain anonymous and he didn't want to tell me what it is. He said, try to figure out for yourself. And even though I had my doubts, I wasn't really sure, but in the end it looks like it is the Ewatlu species red, the same species of tarantula that I got that mail from Yerko, also on Detera Plaza. Really funny coincidence. Let's feed it. If it's hungry. It's going in the wrong way. Definitely wrong way. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you missed it. That's a part of cork bark. What is he doing? What are we doing? Is he escaping? Oh yeah, it is escaping. Little guy, don't. Oh, are you sure that you don't want that roach? Hmm? There is his malt. Nope, definitely not interested. Such a shame. <clears throat> <laughs> Little baby. I don't want to lose you. Go in your enclosure, please. please. There we go. Let's move to the next one. This one, also a gift from the subscribers, Kamel and Paulina. And there are a few more amongst these that are also a gift from them. I just noticed that practically all of my slings are gifts. <laughs> And yeah, this is Brachypelma Emilia, and it always eats, but it usually takes its time, so not sure if we will see this. I maybe hurt a roach a bit too much, although he is moving. You see, this is the also generic sling look. If you don't know what it is, you can't really guess. We will just leave that roach inside and carry to the next one. Trixopelma pruriens, also from Camel and Paulina, a bit clumped up. Let's see if it will spread. I will actually drop it. Ooh, nice reaction. You see, it looks a bit different, but I think you also couldn't really know what it is if you don't know exactly what it is. Now something really fun. I have two Iridopelma hirsutum. They were gift from Darko. Uh, I mean Yerko, sorry Yerko. And as you can see, oh, whoa. Don't breathe. Yeah, go inside. Thank you. What I wanted to say, as you can see, it looks really, really sweet, even though it is just... A... What are you doing? Please don't run. Please. Let's see if we can tongue feed it before it escapes. Ooh, this was such a sweet, such a sweet reaction. Look at that. Beautiful colors. Let's check the second one. Same story, and I will actually try to drop a roach on the net, or maybe not. Hmm, this was weird, remote maybe, I don't know. I won't be pushing it, so let's carry on. Here I have La Ciadora para Hibana from Camel and Paulina, but I'm not really sure if we will manage to see it. Let's try to lure it with this piece of paper. I can see it down there and it turned, but it's not coming up. It is. Ah, damn, so close. I'll try to show you. Here it is. 
tiny Lasidora Parahibana. Hopefully it will be a beast in the future. I will just drop a roach inside and it will take it at its own pace. More arboreals. Avicularia purpurea. Mmm, look at that. A gift from Kozak, the subscriber, of course. And I have two more that are from him. So, tongue feeding, yes. Yeah, yeah. Who would have thought that you can get such a cool clips from tiny slings? Look at that. Thank you for the happy dance, yes. <laughs> Such a cutie, but I have more in store, also from, oh, it is on the top lid. It is the Caribena Leta. No, 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 don't go out. Oh. <laughs> Those cute legs. Can you please focus on the tarantula? Thank you. I convinced her that it is a food, even though we didn't figure out at first. Awesome, but still tiny. And I have two of these. Let me show you the second one. I will drop the roach this time for sure. Oh, wrong way, but it sensed it. Ooh, got him, nice! Who would have thought that you can get such a nice clips from tiny slings? Awesome stuff! Now, last three from Kamel and Paulina once again. Hysterocrates gigas, somewhere down there. Let's try to lure it. Ooh, nice! It's also for me to see it first time outside. It is always in that burrow of his, so cool to see it like that. And a happy dance, maybe? It is starting to pick some size, and I could actually rehouse it into these enclosures easily. Although now it looks really big for this enclosure, it is actually using it vertically because it has deep burrow. So not really an issue, it is not doing much, so we will close it off, even though it's so nice to see it. And both of these last one are also from Kamel and Paulina. Brahipelma wagon sling, but I can show it here through the plastic. Here it is, nice and comfy in its burrow. Let's throw a roach, but I think we won't be seeing anything. Yeah, roach is inside and we will leave it be. And last but not least, Ceratogirus marshali. Is that actually the only African tarantula here? By the way, I have just seen it. Brahipelma wagons, it got it. <laughs> so what I was saying, yeah, the only only African tarantula here. And the Hilobrahis fimbriatus is the only Asian tarantula. Let's try to get it outside. Looks like no one is home. Hmm, where it is? It is down there. Maybe I can try to poke it outside so we can at least see it. It moved, so it is alive, but it doesn't want to come out. Oh well, I will have to leave it on that. But we had awesome takedowns and some really awesome shots, so it doesn't matter. I think it was a cool video. So if you want to see more of that, Maybe I can do the same thing for these enclosures, although I did it recently, I believe. And if you're wondering about these two, one is local spider that I found outside and the other one is... Well, I can actually update you on it. It is the... I open the lid, I will destroy its web. I need to make special enclosure, but it is... A jumping spider. Oops, some dead fruit fly over there. On top of the top lid, there's the jumping spider. 
and it recently molted so it is apparently fine that is good to know but i definitely need to make something different for jumping spiders because it always makes web on top and i always destroy it if i want to open the enclosure so that is unacceptable we will do something about it so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did thumbs it up and comment something if you want to support this channel even more there is a patreon page if you're new to this channel make sure to subscribe i upload every monday wednesday and friday so see you again soon bye, -bye.